Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about the new lipsticks or the new shades of lipstick from Pat McGrath. Can you Adam and Eve it that these are already here only a week after they launched? Because I cannot believe it. I'm shook to my core, but they are here. So I'm going to be sharing my picks with you, showing you all of the shades that I picked up on my lips. And I'm also going to be doing some comparison swatches for you with the existing shades I already own to see if you already have something similar and whether or not you're interested in these ones. So without further ado, let's get started. So these are the Satin Allure lipsticks from Pat McGrath. They are described as a satin shine finished lipstick with medium buildable coverage and a comfortable weightless creamy texture. They contain a unique infusion of botanical collagen and passion fruit oil which creates a mesmerizing dewy effect helping to keep lips seductively soft and moisturized. So these are available in 18 shades. 11 are brand new as part of this launch and then there were seven shades which were re-promoted and restocked as part of this collection. Three of the shades are limited edition. Those are the three that were previously a part of the Love collection. One of those has already sold out, which is Elson 5, but everything else at the time of me filming this is still in stock, so... <laughs> fingers crossed. And these 18 shades are split into nine cool shades which are in the blue bullet and nine warm shades which are in the pink bullet which I think is such a great idea to just allow you to know which are your cool tones and which are your warm tones and what might work for your preference or your skin tone so I do love that. I'm not a huge fan I will say that of this packaging. I much prefer the previous Lux Trance packaging, the black bullets. They just felt and looked more luxurious and in line with Pat's you know eyeshadow mothership packaging and even her now blush and highlight packaging I feel like that all makes sense these seem quite out of the box for me and initially they were part of the Bridgerton collection this packaging was part of the Bridgerton collection so that made more sense like it kind of went with that theme but yeah I'm not a big fan of these very large bows they don't fit in little lipstick holders or containers and they just feel lighter and flimsier to me and I'm not a big fan of the colour but you know packaging is packaging so it's not the end of the world. So I picked up three of the brand new shades and as you can probably tell from the packaging they are all in the warm toned category. So let's take a look at these shades. So first up we have Skin Sane 2. This is described as a warm rose nude. By the way, these don't seem to have like any scent. So I know for a lot of people, that's like your lucky day. So here is Skin Sane 2 on me. I think this is such a perfect, everyday, very wearable, very your lips but better. It has a really nice, creamy, comfortable feeling formula, this lipstick. I really like the formula of these lips. They just feel very sort of nourishing and hydrating. They do really feel like a lip mask. They have that same sort of feeling as something like the NARS lip mask. Really weightless really comfortable they feel so just smooth and healthy and they have that beautiful amount of shine without being sticky and glossy they're more of like a really high shine satin such a like wearable everyday nude really beautiful my stomach is growling so loudly and I literally just ate my lunch so I don't know what its problem is next up we have Petalica which is a bright coral pink this is the colour that you guys rightfully so instantly knew that I was going to be picking up because I just can't resist a coral lipstick. You can definitely see that sort of medium opacity with these, like you can just do one swipe and have quite a light amount of pigmentation or you can just keep building it up and get a good sort of medium opacity. I should probably stop talking while I'm applying lipstick. I'm not that clever. 
So here we have Petalica and oh, she's as pretty as I was hoping. So pretty, perfect shade for spring and summer. Yes, I completely fudged the application because I was trying to multitask. And I heard a rumor that women were supposed to be able to do that. So I've been lied to. Such a pretty color, perfect for me. I love these sort of bright coral shades, especially in spring and summer. But again, just a really nice wearable color it is brighter it is more of a color as opposed to the first one but it is super wearable and like i said you could not build this up and it would be a little less intimidating if you're not sure about brighter colors but for me she's delightful now these aren't super long wearing, but I did wear one of these lipsticks, like there's a long story, but essentially I filmed this video and then I went and ate my lunch and then had to refilm it for reasons I don't wanna talk about, okay? But what I will say is I ate um, eggs on toast for my lunch with a load of mushrooms and they had been sauteed. And I don't know why I'm sharing this entire amount of information with you, but the point is there was like an oil, it was like an oily, lunch and the lipstick like wore all the way through it and it's not like a dry down liquid like matte lipstick that's going to be impenetrable to anything in life it's a more hydrating satin finish lipstick but it looked great after lunch it was not gone it was still there i say these wear really well for a satin formula so don't expect them to be like you know transfer proof bulletproof but don't expect them to be like gone you know because you had a sip of coffee either they're, they're like strongly wearing for a satin i would say yeah definitely not transfer proof but you wouldn't expect them to be, would you? And lastly, but not leastly, we have Untamed Desire, which is a neutral brown nude. So you can definitely see that is quite a bit richer than the first nude shade, Skin Sane 2. And there she is on the lips. You know, this shade was one that I was very much on the fence about whether or not I wanted to pick it up because I found previously the Pat McGrath swatches on her website to be really inaccurate when it comes to lipsticks and how they will look on my skin tone. I just find them completely wrong. <laughs> to be honest. And I felt like this was going to be either way too deep for what I wanted, or it was gonna be perfect, depending on which lip swatch. And you know, you look at this on the lips, the picture of this on the lips, and it looks so much darker and almost like a berry tone on the lips. But then when you look at the bullet picture and the picture of the lipstick swatch, it looks closer to this. So it's very confusing. I'm so happy with this because this was what I was hoping it was going to be, a really wearable, slightly deeper, but you know, not to the point where I can't wear this in the daytime or it feels too vampy for me. This is just perfect. It kind of reminds me of like Lisa Eldridge's Affair, but obviously they're completely different formula with more shine to the finish, but it's like that sort of slightly deeper nude that is perfect for me, especially in summer and absolutely wearable daytime, any day of your life. Now as well, it's beautiful. This is like more of a sort of almost 90s, nude it reminds me of like that sort of slightly cooler tone which is funny because it's in the pink bullet but it did say it was a neutral undertone so perhaps this should have been half pink half blue <laughs> that would have been interesting but this is a beautiful shade and i don't really have anything like it in this formula either these feel so nice to apply very nourishing like i said they feel very comfortable and even this one being a deeper shade and as well patalica being a brighter shade i didn't have any issues getting a nice application without a liner so that's a bonus so i do have three other shades that were from previous releases that i will share with you one of these unfortunately is elson 5 which is the only one that Appears to be currently sold out but to be honest this isn't going to be close to any of these anyway so you know it should be fine so we'll swatch this one over here because it's kind of irrelevant as we can't get hold of it <laughs> so we'll leave you out in the cold on your own i think lots of people will want to see venusian peach next to these two because it is you know another peachy shade 
So this is Venusian Peach and then we have Skin Sane 2 and then Patalica. I mean, it's not really close to either of them. It's probably closest to Patalica, but it's definitely lighter and peachier and Patalica is definitely a bit more sort of pinky coral and definitely brighter. Venusian Peach is more nude, slight hint of peach and lighter. And then I have Negligé, which again, I wonder how close it's going to be to these two new shades. So there is Negligé. So it's not a million miles away from Skin Sane 2, actually. Let's do those two next to each other. So this is Negligé. I'm going to put Skin Sane 2 next door. Pretty close. They're not dupes. They're definitely slightly different. So Skin Sane 2 looks a little pinkier and Negligé looks a little browner. It's a little deeper, but I mean, they aren't a million miles away, are they? So there we have Venusian Peach, we have Skin Sane 2, Petallica, Untamed Desire, then we have Skin Sane 2 again, Negligé, and Elson 5. Okay, so those are all the comparison swatches I have to share with you today. I'm so happy with the three shades, the three new shades that I picked up. I love all of them. I think they're a nice balance, you know, a lighter nude, kind of your lips but better, a bit more of an intense nude, and then a bright for spring and summer. I'm just really happy with the picks. I don't feel like there were any other shades that I feel I missed out on or I was kind of hankering after. These were like it for me. I love this formula. It feels very very hydrating, comfortable, it's decent wearing for a satin lipstick, it has a perfect amount of luminosity to it. To give you some comparisons formula wise, they look similar to the Lisa Eldridge, they feel creamier, they feel different, they feel a bit thicker and they feel creamier and I think they have slightly more pigmentation to Lisa's luxuriously lucent formula. They aren't as shiny as the Dior Addicts. Those are definitely sort of almost a gloss finish. These are a satin bullet lipstick finish, so they aren't as shiny as those. As far as like the Charlotte Tilbury satin formula, I would say these feel thinner and less pigmented than those, but they maybe have a similar sort of finish. So yeah, I mean, there's similar formulas out there. There are similar shades out there. Whether or not these are particularly exciting to you will be down to your lipstick collection and the shades that are available and, and how much you love or don't this packaging. I feel like some people will absolutely love it. Others like myself won't. I feel like it's cute. I, I do like a bow, but it's just the size of the bow, you know? <laughs> it's large. But I am extremely happy that this was such a smooth process, such a smooth launch, and they arrived in such decent time, especially as it appears like we're about to be getting bronzers and maybe a new eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath. Any moment those are going to be shown, revealed to us, maybe even as we speak. So I'm excited that that aspect seems to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, looking up for the brand because, you know, waiting three weeks and longer for products was really killing me when it came to Pat McGrath because I don't want to wait. I am impatient. I won't wait. Well, I will because I have no other choice, but I don't enjoy waiting. Okay, so I'm really pleased that we are getting to like an acceptable time scale from order for like bigger launches. You know, a week, I'll accept it, I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it over three weeks, let me tell you that. So please let me know if you picked anything up from this new lip collection from Pat McGrath. What colours did you choose? Are you interested in these? Have you tried this formula before? How do you feel about the bows? How do you feel about them? Is it is it just me? <laughs> Am I weird? I mean, yes, but when it's specifically talking about the bows. But I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.